So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Nicole to talk about the simple prompt. Okay, simple prompt. Well, simple prompt is exactly as it sounds. It's doing a simple command or asking a question of chat GPT that doesn't have multiple components. So a simple prompt is just like, hey, chat GPT, what are 10 things that were recently prompted? <laughs> you, can, you can ask it like what's going on. Um, and you can ask chat GPT what the weather is somewhere. You can ask it, you know, what time some office closes. It might actually give you that. You can ask it just in one sentence to write an email to your kid's teacher, a thank you note to your kid's teacher for something. Um, it can be really, really simple. Do you want me to share screen? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to do this in chat GPT. I have a lot of things open here. Um, okay, let's fingers crossed it's working today. Um, and my chat GPT might look different than yours if you don't have the AR, AI PRM plugin. It's a Google Chrome extension, and it gives me access to currently it's 2,786 prompts, and I can search for the kind of prompt that I want in here. It's very useful. I can also choose the model of chat GPT that I want. So I'm going to pick four because it's the best by far. Um, and it also lets me select the language of my output, the tone, and the writing style. So if I'm just in default, a simple prompt, write a thank you note. To Sarah's teacher for being so welcoming this school year. So that's pretty simple. Let's see what it does. This is interesting. <laughs> and you'll notice, well, if you've used ChatGPT before, um, four is slower than 3.5 and it gives better outputs. And then I have this lovely little thank you note. And then so I cool. can go up to the top and it'll allow me to copy this so I can paste it in a Google Doc. And I could ask it to revise. I pay, yes. The question, do you pay for, um, for absolutely, 20 bucks a month is totally worth it. And if um, you scroll up to the top, um, one of the other things you'll notice is the little, you probably haven't even, there's the copy, but then there's the thumbs up, thumbs down. Can you hit thumbs up real quick? So yep. what you're actually doing is you're teaching GPT. Most of us probably skip over the thumbs up, thumbs down, but they love it when you put thumbs up because that is you teaching the model. That was a good response. And then you can give additional feedback and that's you giving incredible value as a free researcher to chat GPT and open AI. Yeah, and I do give it feedback if I get really bad. Usually if I get really bad prompts, I will. I'll just give it a thumbs up with no feedback if it's good. It depends what it is, but I do like to give feedback because I want it to be better. And somehow, I don't know if it's true or not, if it makes them better in my account, I can tell you in Jasper it does, um, but I do want the outputs to be better. So this is just a regular um, simple prompt. Okay. 